In this video, I'm going to give you four tips for editing bright and airy photos. So I was on a cocktail photo shoot uh, recently and the corporation that I was working with had strict brand requirements, strict aesthetic requirements, and they wanted bright and airy photos. And so I had to hit that mark. So I'm going to show you four surprising, these are surprising Lightroom editing techniques that I found produce bright and airy photos. All right, let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, so recently, uh, yesterday, I ran the Long Beach Half Marathon. And so I ran it to raise funds for clean water. I run with Team World Vision every year. And so shout out, I saw on Instagram, Eric Floberg, another YouTuber, photographer, who's also in education or has been in education. Uh, he ran the Chicago Marathon and had a blistering pace of three hours and I want to say like 10 minutes. Uh, it was just an awesome, awesome pace. So congratulations to him. And uh, you could donate to either one of us to uh, raise money for clean water. So awesome. Great job, Eric. And uh, it's cool to know there's other people out there who are uh, running for uh, clean water. All right. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some photos I took for a cocktail photo shoot, but this was not any cocktail photo shoot. This is for Hello Kitty which you might think is kind of a toy children's brand, but Hello Kitty has cafes and the one in Irvine has a speakeasy in the back. So they have these um, Hello Kitty themed cocktails that they serve and people go there and there's, you need reservations and it's a whole big thing. I wanna share with you how I got bright and airy photos that were required by Hello Kitty to fit their brand and some of the edits were surprising. All right, so here you can see on my Facebook page, I posted some of the cocktail images that I shot for a Hello Kitty. And so I'm gonna show you what I did to get these bright and airy looks. And um, I used two off-camera flashes, the AD, um, I used the AD200. I had two of those, the AD200. And um, so how did these final edits happen? So let's take a look, let's dive into those images right now. All right, so right here we have the the, uh, the image as shot, and here we have the after image. So we say it's the whites are a little whiter, the pinks stand out a little bit more. And when you go to the before image, it's more more of a brown, more of a neutral hue, and we want that whiteness and the pink. The pink is an important part of the brand to pop. So what I found in editing that was surprising to me is if you boost the whites, which you think would give you a whiter image, you actually blow out parts of the image. And so how do you create a bright and airy image without blowing out those lighter parts? So I actually have this tip for you. First, I dipped the highlights to protect them. And then I also dipped the whites. And so now you get a kind of dull gray image. So just hang in there, you'll see what happens. Um, but then you go back to the contrast and increase the contrast and you can already see that brings a little bit of brightness. And then I'm gonna increase the exposure about a half a stop. Now the, the dominant thing for me, because pink was the dominant color, is I want to pay attention to how I treated that, um, that pink color. So I'm gonna go down to the hue, saturation, um, and luminance. I'm gonna click on uh, pink, or excuse me, I'm gonna click on red, and I'm gonna go to hue, I'm gonna just turn it uh, down to about negative 30 or so, because I want it more on the pink side. And then here's the key. That's the dominant uh, color in the image. Um, outside of whites, which I have already tried to protect. Now I'm gonna boost the luminance of the pink. And so what we see is that overarching, the, the pre prevalent, the most prevalent color pink in the image actually comes up in uh, exposure by using the luminance tab on the HSL um, tool. And this is how I got to protect those highlights and those white, uh, white areas, uh, but I get a, a a more a brighter and airy image without losing detail in the highlights. And so I'm just gonna go to one to one, which is the uh, Instagram square crop that they wanted. I'm gonna pop that on there and hit return. And that's image edited on the fly in about a minute or so compared to the one I sent them. And actually, I like the one that I just did a little bit better. All right, let's go to another image. Let's see what this is. Here is 
an image. It's a kind of a blue hue uh, of the fountain drink, but there's there's a mound of whipped cream, white whipped cream on the top with the detail of these yellow flowers. And it's an amazing uh, drink and it looks delicious. However, in the back, the upholstery, because this is a, a booth in the Hello Kitty Cafe, the upholstery looks a little dull. And so we're gonna do the same techniques to get bright and airy and not lose the whites and the details in the white. So here's what that looks like is if we, um, I'm going straight down, I'm gonna boost the contrast, drop the highlights a little to protect them, uh, drop the whites a little bit. And so um, I'm gonna just then increase the exposure about a half a stop. And then I'm gonna go down to the pinks tab, or the reds, excuse me, to work on the pinks, click that red, drop the hue so I get a little uh, closer to the pink pink hue and then boost the luminance on that. And all of a sudden we have a bright airy image where before we were more on the brown. So this is, um, this is the one-to-one -one crop. And then we just center that drink in there and hit return. And then I can go back and this is the edited image I, I sent them. And this is the image that I uh, edited right now. Now I noticed the body of the drink is a little bit uh, dull, it could be brighter. So I'm just gonna go in there with a gradient filter, throw that on the body of the drink right there. I'll put that, uh, let me reset that gradient filter. I'm gonna invert it. Oh, it is inverted. And I'm just gonna increase the texture to bring out the detail in the glass. And then I'm gonna increase the exposure a little bit there. And you can see that just gives this uh, vitality back to that drink. So there you go, there's that image right there. Okay, uh, let's do two more really quick, see if we can get them done uh, very, very quickly. All right, so I'm gonna go here and let's choose, um, let's choose the Hello Kitty. There's a Hello Kitty mug. So this one's uh, the basic ceramic mug that all their cocktails are served in. And so I'm gonna go to that image and I'm gonna create a virtual copy and I'm gonna hit reset. This is the original image as, as shot. You can see it's further back, it's not square cropped. It's a little bit dull on the pink, so I'm gonna do the same thing as I'm gonna boost this a half a stop, increase the contrast. I'm gonna drop the highlights. We're getting those whites back, getting them back, and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna click the red tab and I'm gonna drop that to make it more pink and then increase the luminance. And here we are, I'm gonna just click that one-to-one -one tab uh, right there, and there we have that image, which is pretty close to the original one I edited. Uh, it's tough here because you have some details in the white ceramic mug that can only be seen um, where there's enough contrast with the, the white uh, mug and the, the, I guess it's basically shadows that are created by the, um, the dips where the eyes are. So I did a little brushing to bring out the, uh, the contrast of those eyes and the buttons on the overalls. Um, but basically that, that is it. Uh, let's do one last one. Okay, this is more challenging. Now here's the original image. Uh, we have a darker subject now. So I was talking about how to edit these bright airy subjects when you want the whole photo bright and airy, but actually the subject is already um, bright or has a lot of white elements. So here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go full with the pinks first. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna drop that down so I get a little more pink in the overall, uh, in the upholstery, and then I'm gonna increase the luminance. So we see the picture getting brighter without me touching exposure. I'm just working on the dominant color of that pink and brightening that. Um, and so then I'm gonna go back up to the top. I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit, increase the exposure a little bit. Uh, there we get a lot of bloom uh, <laughs> or kind of overexposure in the back, but we're gonna bring that back as we uh, dip the whites and dip those highlights to recover some of our image. And actually here, I feel good about throwing a gradient, uh, a radio filter on uh, the main part of the, um, main part of the subject because it's so different than the rest of the background. And so I'm gonna increase the contrast there and I'm gonna increase the texture to bring out those, um, those eye pieces. And I'm just gonna boost the whites a little bit right there and you'll see that gives it a little pop. Um, and so any of these, we could also throw on a vignette that will also help separate them from the background. Um, so that's easy to do um, right there. And that's what that image looks like edited. And so you have a nice, and I would also crop this and get rid of the extra um, 
the extra mug that's only half in the picture. There's a one-to-one -one crop and there it is full screen. So that's how I get the bright and airy images of these Hello Kitty cocktails. And it's surprising that if you have a subject that's already bright and airy, you can't just boost the exposure to make the rest of the image bright and airy because you'll lose the detail on your subject. So what you wanna do is actually dip the highlights, dip the whites, and then you have exposure and contrast to play with, but then you can go the dominant color in the background and you can make that brighter with your luminance slider and that will help you save your image. All right. That's it, thanks for joining. Hey, if you got something out of this video, uh, please like it, subscribe to the channel. I'm so glad you're here on this journey with me. This is just something that I picked up on a recent um, photo gig that I had, and it was something new that I, I hadn't uh, really realized before, um, because typically most of my photos are not bright and airy. That's something new that this gig um, and uh, brought to me, and I'm always learning, I'm always happy to share. So thank you for joining me, and this again was the Canon EOS R. This is the 85. Um, EF lens and um, I shot these at ISO 100. Most of these were like f4 about and then I had two strobe lights on uh, and one was like a seven foot umbrella and I had the 8200 shooting into it and reflected back. That was my, my dominant, my key light. And then I had another umbrella set to um, flash on the background because I knew I need to light up that background because I'm actually trying to, while I'm trying to separate the subject from the background, I don't want the background to come out um, dull or gray or brown. I want it actually bright white. So I put a, I put a flash on the background. All right. Thanks for joining me. See you in the next video.